Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you see this. I am Steve from Corsair Trainers, and today we're going to talk about a subject that most people don't even want to talk about, and that is human nature. And you say, why? Why are we going to talk about human nature? Because discussing human nature, especially as it affects uh, emergency preparedness, emergency responses, the way you react during a bad day, is really important. Now, for some of you guys, I'll warn you right now, you might as well just click off this video, scroll away from it, just be gone, because we're going to use the brainy thing, and we're going to do some thinky-thinky to do some learny-learny, and I know that hurts some of your guys' feelings, so just go away now. Thank you. All right, that ought to take us to the point where YouTube says most people click off. Bye-bye. Don't care if it hurts too much to think. Please go somewhere else. Well, they will spoon feed you what it is you want to hear. Not here for that. So, all right, why is this important? We need to understand human nature. Why? Because that way we can understand how we are responding to things and how others are responding to things. And more importantly, we will understand why? Because the why of things is important, right? Okay, so no matter what the bad situation is, um, toilets overflowing. Just had that emergency the other day. What did the girl do? She came running to me and said it wasn't her fault. Somebody else did that and she just saw it. I don't know who did it. Nobody admitted to it. I have suspects. But now, what took place in that silly little story that I'm about to tell you that the toilet overflowed? Well, human nature. What do I mean by that? My young daughter's response was, uh-oh, I better go tell dad. So where does that fall into the responses during an emergency because the toilet was going to overflow? Where does that fall into what human nature says people will do during an emergency? Let's take a look. All right, so there's pretty much three responses. Have people changed these responses over time? Yes, I will... Um, What's the word? Suggest, put out there for contemplation, for discussion, that these three are still valid. Anything else has just pretty much been added on and can be put under these categories and just been expanded out because somebody wanted to reinvent the wheel. And then you say, what are these three things? Well, hold on, let's take a gander. Well, the first response is to fight, right? Why? Just because it rhymes when you say it this way. The second one is flight, and the third one is freeze. In no particular order. We could say flight, freeze, fight. We could say freeze, flight, fight. But fight, flight, and freeze kind of rolls off the tongue a little better. Why do I say it like that? Because no one response is better or worse than any other response. It's just kind of like rhythmic like that, dude. So if you freeze that's not worse or better than fighting or fleeing right if you flee something it's not worse than fighting or freezing it is just a response that as a human being which applies to most of us on here these are the ways that we are programmed through millennials of whatever going on the way our brains work right <laughs> This is how we respond to things. All right, so the first one that I'm going to address is um, ask backwards because it's usually the one that you see most often with people that have little to no training or experience in emergency situations, right? Okay, so let's go back to the story. The girl walks in the bathroom. She sees the swirlies getting higher. What does she do? Uh-oh, emergency. So she... Flights. All right, that's not true. She told me that she froze. She said, Dad, I didn't know what to do because I came and got you. Has she been instructed on how to use a plunger? Yes. The problem was the one that she knows she knows how to use wasn't the one next to the toilet. Because yes, the plunger stays next to the toilet. That would be prior planning prevents poor performance. But, so she froze for a minute, didn't know what to do. Then she decided to flight. And where did flight go? Flight went to Dad. Dad, to fix it. So she goes to dad and says, dad, the toilet's overflowing. I didn't do it. I don't know who did it. I have my suspects. So what does that tell us about human nature? Well, you can switch between any of these, right? And in that simple, simple story that I'm telling you right now, my daughter froze. 
And going back to some things that we've said before, under duress, under situations like that, people go for what they know, right? So what did she do? She said, oh, here's my options. I don't know, what do I know? I know dad knows how to fix it, and I know I better go tell him before it gets worse. That's what she knew, that's what she went for, kind of ties into that video that we did before, that's kind of slick of me, and then she switched gears. And why is that important? Because given some kind of situation, if you find yourself here in freezing, that might not be the appropriate response. You might want to fight. That may not be the appropriate response. So. By understanding human nature in you and others, you could see, perceive, understand, realize, can't think of other words that I can put in there, that you may not be under the proper category for what the situation is. What did he just say? What I'm saying is, if you got some knowledge and you realize you're freezing because of the adrenaline, because of all the other craziness going on, and leaving might be a better idea, and you know that, you go, hey man, I'm frozen here. I'm not doing anything. All I hear is that idiot dude's voice in my fucking head telling me I need to switch gears. What do I need to switch gears to? I need to leave, right? But if you don't understand that because your knowledge, skills, abilities, and your lack of training is down here, you're gonna freeze. And then you're gonna freeze. And then you know what usually happens after that? When, when one of these options, I'm just using freeze because it's the most common one, when you don't do the correct thing afterwards, well, that's later, but what usually happens is the blame game. It's not my fault, somebody else didn't do it for me. But anyway, all right, had to give me some coffee there. Uh, now, why is this important again, not just for you, but for other people? So say you're involved in an incident and you notice that people are freezing. And again, this is the most common one. You will, once you understand this, be able to say, hey person, go do A, go do B, I need this, right? Why do you think that they tell a lot of folks when you're doing first aid training, when you get up on a scene and you're assessing it and you realize, uh-oh, this is bad, you directly tell somebody, hey Johnny, or hey you, person right here, call 911. Because obviously if you got there and they're standing there and they're not doing anything, they're in this. So they need some of this. And you go fight, calling 911 is not a fight. No, 911 calling is focusing, right? And what do you do when you fight? You focus. That might be too deep for some people. But you give them something to focus on and they go, okay, my job's to call 911 right now, right? And they call 911. And then you say, hey, you do this, right? And you do that because you understand, yeah? And then other people are like, oh, I don't want to get with any, I'm not sure what to do. I, I'm, not, I'm just in the effing way. Look at that, trying not to cuss. I'm just in the way. So what do you do? You say, you, move back. You, get away. And you induce this out of them. And they at least back up a few steps and you can have something to do, right? Is that too deep? Duh, hopefully not. Hopefully everybody can comprehend that. All right, so let me know down there in the comments if I've gotten this far and I'm still making sense. And feel free to let me know in the comments if I've already lost you and you're an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so hopefully this is kind of making sense to you guys. You have to understand the fight, flight, and then freeze response, right? Fighting is just that, man. You're going to fight. You're going to do something proactive in here to save your life. Does that make sense? I'm not changing the definition of fighting. I'm adding to what's under here. Yeah? So that means I call 911. That means I throw blows, right? I do what I need to do. I take positive action to change the situation, right? Flight means I, I just I get out of there, I just leave. However you want to do that. It could be a tactical withdrawal, or it could be you beat feet, right? You move away from the thing. It could be walking, man. You look at the situation, you go, okay, these things are going on. It would be better if I was away from these things, right? And then the last one is maybe you freeze, right? You go, ah, what do you mean? I thought you said freezing was bad. No, there's two sides to every coin here. Freezing can be a good thing if the alien UFO is flying over you and the light's down and everybody that it hits the light gets sucked up, but you're under the carport. Like, yeah, buddy, they ain't gonna get me and I ain't freaking moving. I know, a little humor. Humor's bad. And then just to add 
to the concept here real quick and kind of get the, the principles out there that I'm trying to discuss here. Fighting is good and bad, right? You may be in a situation and your go-to, your thing you know, is you're going to put them dukes up and you're going to start throwing blows, right? That's not always the correct answer to things, man. Maybe you're in a situation and you look and you go, okay, I'm going to make it obvious that I'm willing to do this thing, right? And then there's that kind of pause and you go, okay, and we're thinking about it, right? And as you're doing that, you're like, I'm, I'll do this, but I'm going to start going that way, which means you have control over your brain still and you're going, okay, I'm going to switch and I'm going to go somewhere right here. Yeah, and then maybe just leaving, because that's basically what that means. Maybe I just leave, and then the situation comes out better. Everybody with me on that one? Hopefully I'm not losing too many people. I found out over the last years of here doing YouTube that sometimes the subjects and the way I discuss them just go over people's heads, and that upsets them, and they go away. All right, so going back to this two sides, Fighting's good and bad, don't get hung up on it. Flighting, leaving, is good and bad. Maybe you shouldn't leave. Maybe you should wait a second, gather some more information, see what's going on, and then make a positive move to change your position, right? To better your position. Because people that just blindly run, woo, right? Be whatever the emergency is. Just blindly running like a chicken with your head cut off is probably not a good idea. Again, like I said, there's leaving flight in a controlled manner. You know what's going on. This is the best decision that we're making. And then the flip side of that is just running hell, mail, pale, however you say it. And you'll see people doing that during emergencies too. And those are usually the ones that go back to it's somebody else's fault that didn't end the way I wanted it to end because I was panicking. Hmm. And then the last one, freeze. And this is the one that you see most often, right? It's just, uh, even the, the, the new version of it is the idiots with their phones out. Oh, I'm going to record this. I'm going to record this. Why? Because it's easy. You don't get involved. You just watch things. Oh, I'm going to film this. I'm going to film this. To me, that would fit under the category of this, right? For a large amount of the people. Some people are just jackasses and that's a whole different conversation, I guess. But for me, that's freezing. Oh, look, I'm doing, I'm recording it for later. Like, yeah, okay, you just, you froze. You don't know what the hell to do and you're not taking any positive actions. And then again, freezing is also a good thing, man. If somebody's stalking you or something's going on and you freeze and they don't see you, that's a good thing to freeze. So don't please, please don't get the idea that these are good and bad. They are neither good. They are neither bad. They are the reality. They are the things that happen when a human being is confronted with an emergency situation, especially if it's life and death. This is how we're programmed. This is how our brains work, right? And you have to understand that this goes across the full spectrum of human beings. Doesn't matter where you're at, doesn't matter the people you're with, they will respond in one of these manners because that's how humans work. All humans work like that. Sorry if I just kicked you out of the conversation because in actuality, you're not a human, you're a douchebag. <laughs> All right, I don't want this one to get too long, so we're going to leave it there. Let me know if you'd like me to continue this conversation because a lot of these conversations I don't keep going down the rabbit hole on because apparently nobody wants to know, so why waste my time? Hopefully, you could share this out with folks and all that good stuff if they might get them going in the right direction. And again, if you guys want to keep talking about this, I will keep talking about this, but I need like, you know, five or six people to say, yeah, man, let's keep talking about this. All righty, and always... Stay safe.